you have to get the audience to do what you want them to do. What you believe is not. You don't get that same effect. You have to also think when you are communicating and you want to convince someone, use the language you are most comfortable in. Sometimes if you are more comfortable in English and you try to convince someone in Singhala, you don't get that same impact. And the other way also, if you are more comfortable in Singhala and you try to convince someone in English, you may not get the same impact. So remember, it's not about language. It's ultimately, when you're communicating, what's the most important? Pass the message. You have to get your audience to do what you want them to do. And that is a lot about the belief that you have about yourself. <coughs> what you believe is possible. So lots of companies send their staff for communication skills programs, for English language programs. But what they find is the people still don't talk at a meeting. <laughs> yes, why? Because we are scared. We think I might speak and I might make a mistake and then people might laugh. But that is nonsense because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, people don't laugh. <laughs> yes. And even if they laugh, who is the person who is laughing? The clever person or the not clever person? The not clever person. There was a, a garment uh, factory I went to do some work in and we were talking about communication skills. And then this person, this lady in HR said, yes, Sanjeev, you're right. Because there's this one guy. His English is not good, but he gets the message across. And that's important. So in one, one meeting, let's say Chintaka is the boss. You all are the staff. Chintaka came and scolded the whole team. You all are not doing your work. You have to somehow achieve the target. You are not working enough. You all are lazy. Then one guy gets up and says, Guys, we have to be hardly working, right? And everybody understood what he was saying. What was he trying to say? We should work hard. But his English is wrong. He said we have to be hardly working. But everybody understood because the impact. No, no, Buddhika, we have to be hardly working. The actual meaning of this is we should not work at all. <laughs> but because the way he said, everybody was clear, right? So the impact is more important than your grammar. Your impact, your body language, just as we discussed, right? 93% of the impact is coming from paraverbal and nonverbal. So don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about am I speaking the right English or whatever. Nobody cares. What we care is, are you getting your message across? That's important, right?